Hello, hello everyone! What is up? My name is Vitsi Naido, and we're playing some Genshin Impact for Christmas. Because it's such a Christmassy game, right? <laughs> Merry Christmas! Hello to everyone. Hope you're all well. Hello, Hoven, how are you? So, the new update is out. We have Navia. Who shoots shit. <laughs> Hello, Echo. How are you? Merry Christmas. But hey, um, there's no new map dispatch, but there's plenty of shit left to do. So, I'm gonna go for it. Run out. Merry Christmas Eve from the East Coast. <laughs> I think you're confusing me with someone, Melty. Just say. But hey, happy birthday to you too, I guess. Did you cook a lot today, Echo? Those kids were shocked to see Santa. Nice, nice. They 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 see through the disguise though, right? Or no? I don't know. I don't know how it works with kids. Cooking tomorrow? They took today off? We have this quest ongoing for like two patches now. By the way, as you can see, my Navi is still level 50, but uh, her skill hits a lot. Merry stuff! <laughs> Merry stuff to you too, Caravan! Hope you're doing well. Need the night off to prepare for cooking tomorrow's feast. Okay, okay. Do you guys, you guys uh, value... Christmas Day more than Christmas Eve, right? In Portugal, the the most important thing is like uh, midnight from 24 to 25. That side this Christmas Eve. Okay. Where's her? Uh, oh, okay. 
Some visions are so much smaller than others. Yeah, that's like half the size. Hey Moon Ships! Merry Christmas to you! How are you? Inside this Christmas night. Okay. Christmas night here is uh not not important. It's uh Christmas Eve night and Christmas Day uh lunch. Got home for me out with my cousin. You doing uh, anything nice for Christmas? How have you been? I know I've been playing a lot of Yakuza. Farming relics for one man and stuff. I, uh... I hope I'm still whitelisted. After everyone jinxed me. Because I don't have a lot of wishes left. wasn't coming in because I was going to play Yakuza. Yeah, I know, that's why I said I know I've been playing a lot of Yakuza lately. Yes. So we haven't, uh, we haven't caught up in a while. Yeah, so far, um, I I think you really should play the the Yakuza stuff. <laughs> hey, Cyan. Don't be a Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Sion. That's true, that's true. It's, um... Sikusa, but you need to gotcha all the party members. Merry Christmas, David. Appears that Santa already visited Portugal according to the Santa tracker. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So it's already midnight.
Is that really here? I think so. Yeah. That's so cute. Blitzer, thank you for the follow! Welcome to the stream, how are you? And Merry Christmas! Okay, I've done this. I was just checking, because it's been a while. This music is giving me Death Stranding vibes. Mechanism track assemblage. A set of mechanisms, normally the constituent components include tracks, crystal chunks, crystal pedestals, and device to operate crystal chunks, such as regulating valves and feather valves. And sometimes the tracks will also have dispatch switches. Using the repeat regulating valves to place all the crystal chunks on the crystal pedestal is the goal of the challenge. I appreciate these tutorials, but I, I really only learn by doing. Do I want this to stay here?
I guess I do. Yay! We are smart. Anything on Christmas Eve, David? Yeah, I had lunch with my mom and uh, her boyfriend. And uh, that's it, basically. That's all I did. I did it with them. Spending it with you, Melty. <laughs> you cool. Makes a hell of a difference. Even sure what that is. You can have the. Uh, you can have me and, and Echo and throw as special guests. We'll do co color commentary. You should join a multi stream. See another another special guest. This game is mean. Who wants me to kill the cute guys? And they're babies! Let's 
seal clothing? Wow. Yeah, I guess. Peppa Pig is a fun planet oh no. Paw Patrol Bluey. Is there a Coco Melon again? I'll be surprised if there's no Coco Melon game. Portuguese kids show. What? It's the most subscribed YouTube channel in the world? Yeah, and it's like something for kids. Do you, do you not know the song, the Baby Shark song? You can't tell me you don't know that. It is creepy as fuck, yeah. Speaking of animation, guys, you gotta watch The Tale of Princess Kaguya. Baby Shark was a thing before that show, was it? I know it from there. <coughs> Even if you have no interest in anime at all, you must watch The Tale of Princess Kaguya. Tsukihime anime isn't real. It is. And it can hurt you. Remember a few camp rangers seeing it back in the early 2000s? Okay. Well, I guess it, it had no market penetration. Oh. Other than, uh, for me, other than the Coco Melons. Lifting column. Man, the music in the water is so relaxing in this game. I feel like uh, Minecraft had really 
awesome, a really awesome soundtrack. But then, uh, when I went back, I it either wasn't the same soundtrack or it was expanded, and I didn't hear the shit I wanted to hear. Or I remember that wrong, but it will always be the case. But I remember really enjoying it. Have you watched the, the Tale of Princess Kaguya Melty? You have not. Best Christmas gift ga David could ever give me, Jinjin stream. We're just talking. Just imagine this as a just chatting stream. <laughs> It's a just chatting stream with uh, some some images in the background. I was playing Yakuza. I want to pay attention to the story. Probably seen it in some form, not the movie. I definitely recommend it, and it's also also an art style that I have never seen before. Just got home. Have a bunch of shit to get in place. I'll be away for some minutes. All right, all right. But Merry Christmas! <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it has influenced... It has influenced a lot of things, like Sailor Moon and Tsukihime, sure. Okay. I don't know why, but my sister said the same thing. That they talk about it. Cringe very hard at the first episode of Kaguya and I could never watch it. <laughs> well, I have no opinion on it, I never watched. What is this doing? I'm uh, pretty sure the next anime I'm watching is uh, Sayuki. Are you double DFing about? Seems to be a lot of Sayuki though.
Is it home? Enjoyed this puzzle. there. Not during relaxing Genshin time. Damn, that seems pretty deep. That's what he said. Shit!
that took off like three fourths of my health. This is used for Navia. Yeah, anyone ever watch Sayuki? It gave me very big wild arms vibes. Sayuki? <laughs> Not Cowboy Bebop. Not a, it's not a space western. Trigon can be a little covered, uh, a little wild arms, sure. Anyone watch the new Trigon? I have to say the 3D shit kind of puts me off. Trash taste say it's really good. I wonder if that's a trash taste or not. This looks different than the rest of Fontaine.
I'm thinking we do this after. It's a big surface to explore. I have a hard time narrowing down how to take care of all of it. Yeah, I'm gonna It's not good. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. How was your Christmas? Too much, so that I. Hashtag relatable. I am feeling it even now. for lunch. The dinner was uh Glaconat. So amazing. Shell to die? No, it's not. Shut up. You are too shallow to die. <laughs> Me too. You can't go wrong with it. Let's go. Let's 
Is that how you translate it? <clears throat> I know. It's always weird translating meal stuff. Did I not see the... Oh, there it is. Yeah. It was uh, my mom's first time making it, actually. It turned out very well. Ugh. I did get a little cold. been tough keep keeping the temperature regulated at, at home. Observe? What am I observing? Oh, shit. What am I supposed to do? Does this have to do with, uh... Fight. One, two, three. What does that mean? can move this, what do I want? I've learned these mechanics four weeks ago. How am I supposed to remember? <laughs> That's a whole month! You think I learn things forever? So what else was had for dinner today?
do the... Ah, oh, no. Turkey is a uh, Thanksgiving, right? What's for Christmas in America? Nothing? They starve? Damn. Eating KFC tomorrow? You're such a Japanese man. You fucking weep. In Peru, it's usually Turkey. The country's namesake. <laughs> right? How do you say turkey in Peru? Pavo. Oh. Because, um. <laughs> I mean. Turkey. We say Peru. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the same word. <laughs> I'm surprised you know that. <laughs> Some countries are named after weird things. Well, Turkey country is a different country, right? Yeah, it's a mixture of languages, but um, Peru is, is yeah, sure. I wonder if people also eat turkey in Turkey. But uh, we have, so we have, in Portuguese, there's one country called Peru, and in English, there's one country called Turkey, so none of the languages escape having a country named after a bird. None of the languages escape this. After the same bird. Even if they're different countries. A very influential bird. Yeah. I mean, I I guess uh, it's not like country names usually have a meaning, but I do think it's fun.
200%? Damn, no. That a bit much? By the way, I hit level 70 in the in the battle pass like last week. I I thought I wouldn't make it there. It's resetting today, yeah. Actually, are there, do I have any friends online so I could finish Battle Pass? No. <clears throat> so, I... Like, I got a little confused. Blade is rerunning now, right? And Kafka later? Kafka with L with Dr. L ratio? We got to 67 Trailblaze level. Nice. Will you have left for plat or did you platinum it? Concern? No concern, I just want uh, Blade's Light going if possible. Blade is set up, what's left? You quitting the game after the plat or are you gonna keep playing? Completing Swarm Disaster, what? No, that doesn't count for plat, I don't have that. That's the LC uh, trophies. Ah, uh, okay. So you have the plants? Set up. I just have to log on. Oh, you're playing it on PC? Clear all sworn disaster stories. Yeah, that's... That's a lot. Mostly mobile, actually? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I never tried it. Do you play it as your commute or as your toilet game? <laughs> it's a toilet game, all right. You can't beat level five yet. Oh man, I I only beat level three like a few days ago.
Yeah, I, th I think the that that's the way it's supposed to be. I I I was farming shit on simulated uh, on uh, Swarm Disaster, and it stopped growing. I I don't know if it's kept on uh, difficulty like. You can't grow past a certain level on difficulty one. It is? Oh, fuck. Because I was doing, uh, you know there are in-game achievements for doing like 100 rolls on Remembrance, 100 rolls on Elation, 100 rolls on Hunt. And I was doing that, but I was doing that on uh, on difficulty one, so I could go go and take the longest route possible, because I, I didn't need to care about uh, the well, the stuff, the time bullshit. And I could, like, uh... Didn't need to, to be fast at all. Just do as many rolls as possible. Be taking as long as possible. And so, only have two couriers left. To, to find. In terms of blessings, I'm missing, uh... I'm missing some swarm ones, but I'm thinking since swarm is a locked option, that I might only be able to get them by choosing the swarm path, which I still don't have. Yeah, the, the interplay stuff is what I'm unlocking now, basically. The other ones I have them all. I've had them all since, uh, was before the game even launched on PlayStation. I was only missing the interplay ones. Yeah, occurrences I'm missing a few, curios I'm missing two. But yeah, there's still definitely uh, quite a few jades I can get. But, uh... Might want to look those curios up. I did, I did. They're all store shit. They're not, they're not. Um... All the occurrence curios I already have. But I just need those to show up in the store. It's a uh, burning rope and the irons you play on a uh, in in uh, band in school. <laughs> the triangle iron. Hey, <laughs> my nuts. But last achievement I got was uh, a one percent people one percent of people had it on my achievement guide site, which was get the Knights of Beauty occurrence. You know that, where when the Knights of Beauty offer you help, then you can choose which one helps you. And you need to ha you need to have that happen with our Genti in your party. Uh, but you can't do it in simulator the in um, in swarm disaster. You can only do it in 
normal simulated world. A lot of people don't have Argenti, yeah. By the way, the Argenti fight in his story quest kicked my ass. Yeah, I don't look forward to facing him, uh... I was like, oh, if I never face this guy again, which I know it's not, uh, happening. I'll be happy, and then immediately he was in memory of chaos, but I went to do it, not... Oh, okay. Love this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course. I wish I could power level, though. Like, out-level everyone. Stop fighting. Might not be there on the reset. I don't think the memory of chaos resets, uh... Does it reset right, right away? Or do we get the the new endgame thing now? I mean, they showed the calendar, but I don't remember. New boss fight. Uh, maybe? I didn't just like Argenti's story quest, but I was disappointed with what they didn't show. Like, uh... Either... Like, I like the story itself. I was okay with it. But, uh... We didn't get to see the the bug. We didn't get to see Washtopia. It's like it felt uh, it felt like they didn't want to go to any trouble to do anything. To actually show things. Was pretty dumb. It was underwhelming. Is what I'd call it. How oh, well Anne agrees with you. <laughs> Yenev is a big hater of uh, Argenti. Is the unit kind of strong? I thought he was super strong.
Yeah, um, I do feel like there's more power creep in Honkai than in Genshin. Than ever was in Genshin. Is um I I know I said I don't need a physical unit at all because my trailblazer is just mega OP and I love playing as her. Uh but I feel like he's way more powerful than she is. That Clara in one of the 50-50 LOS that happens to someone else, David? She's very strong with Topaz. Uh, I got Clara too. But from the standard banner. Uh, waiting to use my my select a character thing, but uh, I am very confident that for the game's birthday they will give us uh, either either a standard character or at least a reset of that uh, bonus. Multiple layers to this shit. I don't know, I usually am not uh, someone who notices power creep too much. But uh, I definitely felt it uh, on RGT.
He's only good against five targets. Well, he's an erudition unit. They're good against multiple people. I don't, I don't understand this. No, am I not missing one in the middle here? Ah, shit. Also, the the secret maybe you guys don't know about them that the secret achievements for this the swarm disaster those are incredibly hard to do. I've tried and I did like none. Um. Which are... When clearing with Path of Elation, achieve 12 different types of happiness. Capture 8 trotters through battling on the same plane while following Path of the Hunt. This path of remembrance to consecutively copy a reward domain six times. Uh, 40 victories in battle with path of destruction. Uh, enter a blank domain 15 times with path of nihility. Uh, Finish with Path of Abundance with a remaining countdown of more than or equal to 80. <laughs> Which is insane. Yeah, that's basically it. I think those are all very, very hard. And require more than just, uh... Than just skill, they require a lot of good luck, too. I think in particular the, the Abundance one is completely crazy. <laughs> Pulling my nose again.
Did I even hit it? I don't think so. Oh no, because there was a... There was a Hydrocolis at the entrance. Nani? It's closed off. Well, that must be export through a quest or something. That doesn't help. I don't understand. Ah, I can understand. It charges it up, so now if that go, it'll go down. Uh, yeah, okay, cool.
What does that even fall? Oh, I need to raise it. Fine. That's so hard. the boat. Oh, it's my boat.
I'm gonna lose it again. Does it? Merry Christmas. Look. I think I need to activate them at the same time. Suspects doing usual suspect things, good otherwise. How are things? Doing good, doing good. Doing my underwater relaxing exploration. Which I keep enjoying immensely. It's just that it's just relaxing, you know? It's not exciting. It's enjoyable. Right? <laughs> the 
Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, it's not that I'm uh, excited to do it, but uh, I really, really enjoy just hanging out here. Speaking of hanging out, it's been a long time since Genshin has put out any hangouts, which is awesome. My 7k HP push one bought me two games for Christmas, Outer Wilds and Octopath Traveler 2? What? I thought you were non-serious. You know what Genshin needs a free five star? That's true. Actually, Genshin had a free five star before uh, anything else. It's called Aloy, and it sucks. The only three star in the game. I mean, five star. Five star in the game. We are kind of more serious now. Played some Outer Wilds today and I had that same feeling. Outer Wilds is so good. Uh, I had dreams about that game. Which and the dreams played the music from the game. <laughs> Traveler is a five star. Well, well put, well, hey, well put. Um, and uh, I feel like when I started playing Outer Wilds, it uh, it frustrated me because it wasn't what I wanted. Then I realized what it was, and I loved it. It took me a while. Traveler is a five copium five star though. <laughs> I think Aloy is more copium than Traveler. I'd rather have Traveler than Aloy. <laughs> uh, playing my nose. I mean, Aloy is still, to this day, the only one with a, a portrait of a different color. That's why people joke she's the only three star in the game. Yeah, she's the only one with a red background for some reason. Just waiting to put in hit character silence. We're waiting for the next Horizon game to finally have their content. Yeah, that's it's not happening. It didn't happen with Forbidden West, it's not happening ever. Which is just stupid. Genshin was very small back in the day to do a collab like this. I don't think it was, to be honest. But uh but I think this is how fast, like, what is even this? <clears throat> what is this and why is there no way to get it? I don't think they would ever consider something like Aloy again now that the game is so big. I don't know. Uh. I think they they have nothing to lose with doing some collabs. 
I think they're too big for smaller collabs now. Smaller than Horizon. Yeah, did you just see 2B in Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising? That looks insane. The only reason I ever played Genshin for an extended period of time was because of Aloy. Me too. I started playing to get Aloy. Because I was like, yeah, one day I might want to play this. So, let me get Aloy. Two bees like in every freaking game, and it's always canon, says Yoko Taro. <laughs> I have not, Welty. Single on Japanese companies begging Yokotaro to have 2B collab, and Yokotaro is like, if you give me money, then yes. Yep. That is the philosophy, isn't it? The starving artist is a cliche. Don't be a starving artist. before you make art. Exactly. I mean, Aloy was exactly that. It was a collab to get PlayStation users to play Genshin when it was still new. Yeah, but I, I thought the game... I thought Horizon is more important, or was more important, um... Uh, than Genshin back in the day. We gotta add Master Cheeks. I don't think it's ever releasing on Xbox. It was supposed to come out on uh, Switch though. I don't think it ever did. Would be quite the dev feat making Switch playable. They said they would put it on Switch. Then they realized that they don't have data packs, so it was never going to fit on any Switch. So yeah. <laughs> it's not happening, I guess. It's on mobile? Yes. Which is more powerful than the Switch by now. Yeah, the Switch might actually might might actually just be a Game Boy Advance by now. Shit, what? What do data packs do, by the way? What I mean with data packs is you being able to install 
play countries, different countries, uh, differently. Like, uh, I can, I could only have, I could have just Fontaine, or just uh, Mondstadt. If that was a real thing, it would fit on a Switch. If you could just install different parts of the map at will instead of having the entire game. I mean, how much is Genshin by now? That's 96.64 gigabytes. You, you want to fit that on a Switch? I'm surprised they don't have a lot of people just falling off of the game on phones. Actually never reinstalling. I mean, they have to do it at some point. I, I, I really, really don't think they, they can afford to not do it. People will just stop playing the game. It's... it's just not a question. So, uh, all my barline characters are 99? Nice. I guess now we can finally play together and you can carry me. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Where is an octopus? Only that were a thing? I know, I know. But seriously though, you can't expect people like, I'm sure the game is smaller on a phone, but it won't be dramatically smaller, right? Um, you can't expect people to have a 100 gigabyte game installed. It's 30 gigabytes? That surprises me. Wait, what? Is this one? Honkai is 17. I think Honkai is 30 for me. For us. Hit more. So that's not interactable. Uh, I'm guessing I can't do can't do this yet. Probably quest related. Oh, great. Rumors of a new switch. Part of me wishes I could Yonkai. 
from Kidball Thumb. I've always been aware of mobile gaming. Yeah, I actually had fun playing Honkai on my PC because it's it's a little it's it's not super involved. Nintendo, I'm anti shit. <laughs> well, both those statements are true. <laughs> Not sure Fire Emblem and Persona are comparable. <laughs> Zelda's an inferior Genshin, not an inferior Horizon. Because there's a new power of monships you don't understand, it changes the game completely. Bullshit! I mean, I have better things to <laughs> to care about than being infuriated about a Game of the Year nomination, but <laughs> it is nonsensical, yes. Well, I see it's one of the best Switch games. Well, that's not a that's not a high bar. Yeah, the thing is, I think that the people who still go after playing Mario are probably predisposed to liking Mario. There is a nice Black Forty game, a nice Mario game, but not a Game of the Year nomination. Yeah, but it was just a nomination, though. They gotta suck Nintendo's dick. As they always do. We all know, like, the 
the, the Xbox people say there's an Xbox tax. There's also a Nintendo tax, right? But it's the other way around. If it's on Nintendo, it's gonna do better, critically, than if it was on any any other place. <clears throat> I actually like Sunshine. But uh, I, I do think 3D Marios are way more fun than 2D Marios. Those Nintendo consumers are people who don't have high standards for games, just want something fun to play with their kids or something. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't disagree. I did like half of it and went away. I'm stupid. Apple users are legitimately Kool Aid drinkers now, unless they're buying for the sweet camera on iPhones. Um, I I don't understand. I understand the wanting to plot something, I guess, but it's still a bit much. <laughs> In the and I do think the the iPhone is more of a a status thing than you actually thinking the uh, the iPhone and the Max and all that. Yeah, I'm not saying they're bad, but it, it's like, that's what I'm saying. It's like you're trying to flaunt something. That's totally fine, but if you, <clears throat> if you have every new iPhone, every new Apple Watch every year, and you're re either rich or dumb. Yeah, when... Uh, when you have to seek out specific versions of things because... Uh, normal shit doesn't work on Mac. Um, when... Uh, when, like, the same PC is going to cost you way less and do the same exact shit. Like, I know, sure, it's a closed system and you're... Like, if the program exists, it's super compatible. Great! If it exists! See, people are rich that don't care paying thousands. They don't want to see here because they can. Yeah, because that's what I was saying. It's like you're flaunting something. I understand you wanting to flaunt something. I mean, people do it all the time. This is 
a status thing, but uh, I yeah, I'm, I'm still going to call you dumb. Yeah, like mod chips with a 7k Fuchuan, exactly. <laughs> Still have your Galaxy S8. My phone is broken since February. Broken. Let me let me pick it up. <laughs> Look, this is my phone since February. I don't care. I'm not gonna spend money. Yeah, it works. It is broken. Come on, you're telling me this isn't broken. This is this is perfect. You can use broken things. It's, I, I mean, there's different, there's different uh, degrees of broken. That is broken to me. That's pretty good when mine did that. Spread in like three days. Yeah, I mean, while it works, I'm not changing it. I refuse to spend money on a phone. And this is... It's a Huawei something, I don't know. <laughs> I just threw it on my backpack and didn't close it. And when I put the backpack on my back, it fell off and it landed right on a rock. I have a confession to make. Do you buy every single iPhone after you shit talk it? Is that it? Is your Fushuan now 8k HP? How... where is the third ball? It's Sony Xperia. My uncle doesn't have a lot of money, gave me an Apple Watch Series 4 for free because he was buying the new one, so I bought an iPhone 11 to work with it. It's my first iPhone and I hate it. Never buying one again. I, I once got a Windows phone as a payment for a job and... like, I used it, but it was shit.
Tenor. Did they still make you use high tones? Oh no. Have a show me now. I know CCP is watching me. We're for 300 bucks. This shit is amazing. I never gave more than 100 uh, euros for a phone. Nor will I, I think. I hope. Twelve iPhones, and if damn. I spend a shit ton of money on it, my PC, but I use it like 24 7. I buy a new one every six, every five to six years, so it feels worth it. Yeah, that's different. Then a friend only buys iPhone saying, Why are your photos always better looking than mine? I have a 300 bucks Chinese phone, you have the 1000 bucks scam. Yeah. Then we found that the cover she was using was fucking up the iPhone's lens. Oh boy. Yeah, that's just being stupid, sorry. Sorry, metal friend. You have a rich friend. You should tell you should tell her to come sub to you on Twitch. Enjoyed things being more expensive than they need to be, which I think is uh, not a controversial statement. <laughs> but sometimes it seems like it is with the with the the Apple stuff. Someone on the ground. Oh, he's still alive, just unconscious. Oh, that's good. We have to get help. We can't just leave him like this. You 
when Paimon delivered the unconscious man to Lumi Du's Arbor. The people there immediately take him to receive medical treatment. Knowing that he's in good hands, you, the two of you return to where you were before. We do? Alright, now let's have a look at the stone tablet. Below this place is the Orthant of Wishes, the Temple of Wishes, the Room of Wishes. Often contradicting, born in an instant, your company and eternal rest never separated. The tainted fruits of sin. Looks like a riddle. What do you think the answer is then, Lumi? I think a lot of people have been conditioned to believe that if something is cheap, it has to be bad or much worse. Yep. Probably. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Paimon doesn't think so. It's kind of a weird thing when you have to dream up for it to be a scene. Someone thinks she might have heard that somewhere before. Let's go with that answer for now. Life, okay. Huh, life is the original scene in Fontaine, for sure. Is this a big place? That logic people that know nothing about technology or phones. Yeah, I, I think it's a, the social status is definitely a part of it too. That's why I was saying the the flaunting thing. People, people like uh, showing others that they're that they have the the newest thing. People are people are jealous of you. You made it. You made it in life. <laughs> yeah. Nanko Hiraku. People so caught up in that junk and don't even have MP7 black ice, it's crazy. <laughs> well is that a weapon? It's a it's a weapon skin. real to me. It is real. I saw you play and you had it. Hey, I, I also have every Genshin character. I mean, I'm not trying to flaunt it, but uh, we, we all value different things, I guess. I'm blowing my nose again. Actually, no. I'm taking a quick break. I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. We talking dot hat? I played the first four games. Mm. No. I never made it to game number four. But I played the first three games. <laughs> and then the grinding got to me. It's different, very different. It was way more egregious than this. I can. How come I must know where obsession needs to go? Here's the 100 hours you've put auto battling in Honkai. Uh, yeah. It's way, it's way worse than that. Uh, Saya. You will never finish grinding in Honkai. Um, sure. But I have fun with the Honkai grinding. And in .hack... So, .hack... <laughs> I get it, I get it. It's, yeah, it's three games in an epilogue. I never played GU because GU never, never released in Europe. Uh, on PS2. I do have the remaster. Uh... But, uh... In Dotec... In the third Dotec... Suddenly, I had... It was... The grinding was worse, trust me. Trust me. Suddenly, I had to go to a specific... Uh, dungeon. Well, .hack is an MMO. It's just an offline MMO. Uh... But I had to go to a specific... Uh, dungeon, but it's it's not a dungeon that's accessible in the world. the The world is the game from .hack, right? The the video game that the the characters are playing. So this dungeon I needed to go to was not accessible to a regular player. Uh, my character could go there, but he needed uh, like specific keys. To unlock the entrance. Those keys are gotten from mutating uh, e enemies, like deep dungeon enemies that you encounter in the game. Like each one you mutate turns into one key, and I needed like, I don't know, 20. The thing is, uh, there is no guarantee for which you're getting when you when you like randomly go into worlds until you find the stuff that you need so it's like i don't mind grinding if the grinding is uh consistently paying off right so it can be slow but it's going somewhere. If it's a random thing, if it's a random drop, if like it might just not happen, I can, I could waste hundreds of hours in Dotec 
and not get the the items that I needed to unlock the next part of the story, which I, I don't think is acceptable, so that's why I stopped playing. But I was really enjoying the story. I really, really, really enjoyed it. I'm surprised they never remastered that and instead included a video of it with GU. Because it is mandatory knowledge. But uh, I think when you buy GU or when you boot it up, you get like the cutscene collection for <laughs> the first four dot X. But yeah, uh, a great example in in Genshin and in Honkai is I dislike grinding. Uh, I dislike going for relics slash artifacts because I am not guaranteed to get what I want and what I need. So I do everything but that. Also, the dot deck anime was very fun. I really liked it. So, Sword Art Online before Sword Art Online ever existed. Well, Sign is the one that I watched. Sign and Luminality.
I also watched the. Um, I think it's called Gift. Dotek Gift. Which is like a crossover epilogue after the games and this. after Sign and the games with characters from both. It's been a while though. So don't quote me on that. The soundtrack to Dotek Sign and Dotek, the, the Dotek games is some of my favorite soundtracks to listen to on the radar. Where's the starting point of this? Oh, there it is. I love that. Yeah. Definitely. I think you you're going to like that. I kind of want to play Cyberpunk, just because of the soundtrack. Yeah. Wait, 25 on sale? Damn. I am! I am! But a lot of the Edge Runner soundtrack is in the game, right? I don't think the tone of Edge Runners is the tone of the game. What, what is this? This is the super boss. Oh no. 
just a normal guy. Yeah, I, I, I am very interested in playing, but I might as well get the DLC and play it with the DLC, right? Um, I have the game, just gotta get the DLC. But yeah, I, th I think I am expecting uh, the tone of Edge Runners, and I shouldn't expect that. Ask Santa. You go. Say. I I will write a letter. No, I, I have a lot of stuff to play. So. Need to make uh, near automata happen, and uh, and then keep going with Phoenix Wright. I also have an RPG that I got from Nipponichi that I want to do. Uh, I expect to like it, and if I like it, I'll play all of it. You cool. We'll see. Oh, the otters I can't kill because they're cute, but the seals I can. Yeah, I also don't want it to be way too long until I do the next Yakuza. I don't want to do it right away, because I, I am a little tired of Kamurocho. But, uh... I don't want it to be too long. Did we get everything in this section? I think so. 
Don't do them all in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I want to do... So, I think my next game will be the Caligula effect, which is that the RPG that I got from Nipponichi. Yeah. Uh... And then, uh... And then we'll see. Maybe Phoenix Wright? Maybe Nier? If I do Nier, we'll be done with Nier, so maybe, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did, uh, I did Zero and Kiwami back to back like this. Because we, I, I had already played Zero. I wanted to replay Zero. But we had already played it in the channel. And I thought it would be unfair to you guys that when I returned to Yakuza, I was gonna do the same game I already did. I'll be on a trip to Vancouver from the 24th to the 12th. You can play near during that time. Okay, so maybe we'll do that when you come back. <laughs> I don't know how long the game would take so maybe maybe playing it safe is we do it when you come back not before you go all right i think we explored this area 72 percent yeah i think since there's so much If you really want to play it, go ahead, or I do want to see your experience. Yeah, no, no, I mean... <sighs> Look. You've been waiting for me to play it. I think it would be a little scummy of me to play it when you can't watch. Isa. It would be one thing if I had no idea. But since I know, it doesn't make a lot of sense, I think. And in the meantime, you should play uh, Yakuza. <laughs> right? Alright. We will relax for a bit. Let's, uh... Let's get kicked in the balls. I need to get the Yakuza, so there is a bundle. Super cheap for like all Yakuza games up to 6. Including Zero? You get it? I mean... Uh, 
I think 3, 4, and 5 remastered are always in the bundle. Dude, that is a, that is insane value. But yeah, as far as I've um, understood, as, as far as I've seen uh, from playing the series, I don't think you'll feel. Look, look, I, I'm I'm not on three yet, right? I don't think you'll feel like it's going back that much, because I don't feel like there's that much of an evolution between every game. It's more of a... The story. The story is what matters. Yeah, I, I, Munchips is worried because uh, he has a problem going back, so he thinks he's not going to like three four, and, uh, 3, 4, and 5 after playing 0, Kiwami, and Kiwami 2. But I don't think there's that big of an evolution there. It's the it's the story and the writing that carries that series. Rougher, sure, but by that time you already care. Six and kilometer of the same engine. And the others all share the the other the other engine. Oh, I don't mimic why. No. Zero and Kami One are kind of the same engine. No, they definitely are. Not kinda. They definitely are the same engine. Still on PS3, but uh, but I guess Zero and Kiwami One are also on PS3 in Japan.
My god, I am stupid. Oh well. At least, oh. at least it's not the easiest one. Oh, this is happening. Ever initiate fights in uh, in those in the series, or is it always the enemies initiating the fights? Because that's something that annoys me. Not exactly advantage, but they're like, I see the enemies up ahead. I know they're gonna initiate a fight. I run to them, and I'm like, a punch word in the face to start the fight. Instead of just waiting for them to initiate it. これほど美しい景色を見ればおのずと旅がしたくなるものであろう。だ、ノー。オッケー。プロイズファイトムーズワンファイトスタート。オッケー。風の重く can you initiate the fight in the Yakuza 7? Yeah, at least that one should allow you to initiate the fight yourself, no? Yeah. 
We have all Chivos in seven. Nice. That was a hell of a grind. But can you actually outpower everyone by grinding? Can you power level? Power level, but the big grind is for a very hard mission at the end, which is it still feels kind of not powerful enough. Okay, even if you're at max power, of the Accusa series. Doable? Well, Ozma is doable. Team, I can't be hit like that. <laughs> it's probably a bone or whatever. <laughs> Talking about. Of covering the insomniac leaks. No. I have to pay attention to this. Look, the leaks are out. You're not you shouldn't show the leaks. But you can you can definitely cover them. It's you didn't leak them.
That's like saying... I know it's a shit comparison, okay? I know. But you know what's worse than company secrets getting stolen? War. <laughs> Should you cover war happening uh, in the news? Yes, absolutely. I agree, you can talk as a journalist about what matters for the general public. Of course, never show delicate info from the leaks. Exactly. You have a duty to report the news, not to uphold company secrets. What you need to do, if you have any ethics, is you're not going to show the leaks themselves, and uh, you're going to warn people, hey, there's like sensitive info, there's personal info, don't, don't search this up. This is how it was obtained, it's very illegal. Um, but you need to be open. I think a journalist to be trustworthy needs to be impartial, but needs to report the news, right? You can be impartial, be honest with your public, like, look, this is out there, but uh, it was obtained this way. There's like really awful shit. Even like workers' addresses and, and things like that. But uh, yeah, absolutely reported. I saw the um, the gameplay. This about Greg Miller. What did Greg Miller do? Good comparison to like reporting a sex tape got leaked. You're not gonna show the sex tape. I mean, I I'm gonna say no because I don't think that's public interest there's any public interest in the sex tape getting leaked. Unless it's, uh, like a president sex tape or something like that. Okay, okay, L let's say that. The president was caught on a sex tape, and it leaked. Right? You're not gonna show the sex tape? You should absolutely report it. Yes. If it's like a random person? No. <laughs> doesn't have any news value. You didn't say anything about leaks? Just that they happen that it's bad to cover leaks? The video from the day before? That was him covering Suicide Squad leaks? Well, it is different. Look, I'm the last guy that's gonna stand up for Greg, because he didn't stand up for... Uh, Colin. But, uh... It's one thing to have someone inside your company leak something. It's another thing to be hacked and held for ransom and then have that information not exactly leaked. It's more of a an attack on you, right? So usually leaks are done for clout and for hype, because they are, they definitely are. Um, this was a criminal thing. Three years ago, Capcom leaks, those ones were hacked, also had personal info. Well, then, then, then those are apples to apples. So, yeah. That's the same thing as the Insomnia Cleats, then. Look, I, I looked at uh, the Wolverine gameplay. I skimmed through it. Mm. 
GTA 6 leaks. That was just a trailer, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't see any pairing, but uh, there, there's probably a pairing. Last year, I might have not paid attention to that. Those. Hey, 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 guys! How the gameplay leaked? Okay, but it wasn't stolen. It was leaked, right? I think that's the big difference. It was hacked too? Okay, so it was stolen. Okay. Oh yeah, I did see some guy is under arrest for uh, leaking something. Yeah? You gotta give people something to do. <laughs> right? Bro needed to entertain himself. That is insane though, I didn't I didn't read that, no. I, I had no idea about it. I saw, like, I saw the Wolverine gameplay, I saw the, the supposed lineup of games that Insomniac is planning until 2030-something. But that, that's about it. <laughs> and uh, and I, I understand their frustration, absolutely. I, I would be too, for sure. <coughs> I don't know what that means. <coughs> Get one schmuck to mess up. Yeah, m most likely. Uh... And, and more and more companies just have so many people. But yeah, what uh, what was what what I thought was very interesting and worrying is how much they're spending on making games, right? Like how Spider-Man Two cost as much as three Spider-Man ones, and it's not like. I haven't played it, but it's not three times as good, right? So we're starting to get a little, we're, we're starting to get diminishing returns on these investments, and I think they need to be reeled in a bit. Mickey 
I genuinely think that, uh, a lot of gamers are okay with the game not having the best graphics they've ever seen. That's not exactly what they're looking for. Depends on who you ask. Sure, I guess uh, if you're on PC, uh, you're super elitist. But uh, otherwise, I don't think so. I don't think it's younger gamers, I think it's more of a PC gamer. Like, oh my god, it's not 4K, 100, 1000, 100,000 uh, FPS. It's absolute trash. Kid gamers on TikTok were curious about Baldur's Gate winning it here because it had mobile game graphics and it was turn based. Really? People that play Fortnite? I think people, young gamers, are are the ones who don't care. To be completely honest, those are the ones that are fine playing some Candy Crush and uh, Fortnite and whatever. I do think it's more of a PC gamer problem. Fortnite graphics could be pretty intense, maybe? They're, they're, I mean, they're good, but they're stylized good. There was this trend of people posting Ray Chat Legends gameplay with the caption, This game won game of the year. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I, I've never seen anyone as demanding as a PC gamer. Those are the ones like, that say something like, oh, it's 30 FPS, I don't want to buy it. We only demand good frame rate. It it's still it's still technically something e console players are like that now. Yeah, some are becoming like that, absolutely. This gamer, I've always seen Xbox slash PlayStation gamers more demanding on graphics. Like people on PC will play anything. Performance also takes uh, away takes uh, development cost, obviously. Okay. 
きますご助力を風の行く先を風の向かクモの行くごとを風の赴くままに Please fall to the same side guys Excuse me. Imagine not playing the end with over 140 frames. <laughs> For that smooth text feed, absolutely. A lethal company? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I've seen people play it, but it looks trash. Sorry. Do you think that you prefer games at 30 FPS? So now the games on console have the option for 30 or 60. A lot of console gamers find it hard to go back to 30. That's how I feel every time a game is locked to 30. Yeah, but I feel like now people are on PC are demanding like 120. <coughs> After I beat Spider-Man 2, I switched to 120 FPS. It felt like a different game. It goes that high, damn. Had to mess with the rise files to get the game at 60. Really? It's not natively 60, but you can make it 60? That's the yeah, that's super stupid. Just die already. Now I'm doing this without Raiden, because she's dead. Yeah. 
enough time to beat these guys. not happening. Fuck. Fuck my life. I'm not paid to win enough. I thought was super stupid was uh, the discourse around a plague tale too. Cause uh, that game is incredible. It really is. And it doesn't matter at all. Uh, what frame rate it, it has. That's still my favorite game this generation.
Why did you change to Mona? Game. I hate her. There we go. You don't have to be an ass. I went back to Inazuma commissions because I think there's a Sumeru mission locked behind one, which sucks. Sorry, my dude. We'll be right back.
I love it when my character kicks their sword. Love you. Beto. Oh, hi, Tom. Jolie. Not a sword, but it works. Yeah, one. Also not a sword, but it I do think Genshin so far has peaked in Inazuma. The characters, the story, the land. Not that I think their stories are any worse, but I think they became uh, they became less capable of editing. They need to cut out some fat. You cool. I have a level 50 Nadia with a level 20 weapon hitting for 5k damage, which is as much as my Kazuma is doing. There might be some power creep in Genshin as well. <laughs> but it's only your skill. I guess.
Do a little bit of tissue. Navi is new. Yeah, it's a new character that just came out. She's a... Realm, is she? She's a Geo. Geo Claymore. Thought Dendro was rock. Dendro is, uh, like, nature. She's really fun, though. I really like this animation. The, the reloading of the umbrella. Character. It's her character. The weapon is this claymore that I have. But she uses the umbrella too. She's really cute. Actually, her, her signature weapon is this axe. It's a Claymore category, but it's an X. I definitely really like her. I like her playstyle, and I like her as a character in the game. She cool? Who wants to play Bloodborne? What? Why? Or Liza P. I definitely want to play Liza P. That's what that chick reminds you of? Really? She's so colorful. She doesn't remind me of that at all. Oh, I should have bought uh, Yanni. Your stream lag. I mean, maybe? I don't know. Did it? Stop! 
Nice, let's go. One cycle. Cocolia? <laughs> There's some great music in this game, too. But they have the same problem that Honkai does. The music gets better in the second phase, then it's too late. Second phase is too late. I want to enjoy the music from the start. You know, two B should be in uh in Genshin Impact. <laughs> yeah, what's one more? I actually think a character that would actually fit would be uh, Ryza. <laughs> from Atelier Rising. Thick Rise. Yes. She has the right look. She has a pole arm. She'd fit perfectly. I guess they never did collabs again. Even uh, as far as I know, Honkai Impact has uh, Asuka from Evangelion. That's about it. And I guess it has facial, but that's not really a collab, is it? That's your character too? Honkai Impact has like two collabs, but I don't think one of them counts because it's special from Genshin, and the other one is Asuka from Evangelion. Evangelion. So Asuka, I think, is the only real uh, collab. <laughs> it does! You can't get her anymore. So don't worry about it. <laughs> uh tell you what, she has a she has an original outfit 
For for Hokai Impact, and it's a really cute outfit. I don't know what, uh, I guess I'm trusting you. <laughs> no, this isn't happening. There's no reason for me to go on. What? What am I fighting for? <laughs> I get it, but uh, it's not like you're playing a Honkai Impact anyway. <laughs> The voice acting is great, I love it. So bad and so good. Uh, it is, it is. It's like Resident Evil 1. I love the acting in Resident Evil 1. I can quote so much of that game. And it's awful. Oh yeah, here it is. Mega Man X4 walks so modern VAs could run. Yep. Think Capcom got exchanged to this to the acting in that game? I don't know, but I'll I'll believe it. Yeah, look at this. I think this outfit is extremely cute. It looks great. Think uh oh a Resident Evil 1. Okay. Isn't it acted by the actors from the intro? Oh, that's Coca-Cola, yeah. I, I don't think... maybe I watched this. Evan, Evangelion is amazing. Yeah, look at this outfit! It's so cute! He looks so good on her! And she fights... and she has the longing of Lance, man. It's so good. I, I am super sorry I don't have her. Four point five. Yeah, that was a while ago. Uh, yeah, she was free. Still the same thing, is it? Yeah, she's really cool. And she's awesome in, in the whole Kai Impacts. I have played with people that have her.
This is the Age of Unlimited Time boss. Because I haven't seen that boss in the game. Buronia! <laughs> Alright. I, I disagree. I don't think you should watch... <laughs> I don't think you should watch... Uh, episode 26 after the movie. Most played Final Fantasy XIV just because of the narrator. I hear it's good. I don't know. Stuff that happens in the movie they actually wanted to put in between those two episodes. They didn't have budget last time the time, so they didn't. What? The movie was never supposed to exist? How can that be? That was the ending, sir. Maybe that's true for the stuff in Death and Rebirth. But for End of Evangelion? Ah, uh, well. I, I think I think that's uh, that's reaching. This boss is so shit looking. Tendo, no. You should watch the stuff as it came out. As people watch them. No, I mean for Saiyan. Yeah, but hindsight is uh, 2020, right? And then you copium add your own cannon. Tendo 
Yeah. I'm sorry, game, but this this boss looks like shit. Where is it? That's not what I wanted to do. Thanks, game. The fire. Yeah. 
Actually, let's take another break. I'll be right back. あなと酒を手に景色を堪能しようとしたがあの頃とはもう違う旧友とまた流通のために作られた船は港に止まるだからリーウェはあらゆる富が沈着する場所だ花と酒を手に景色を堪能しようとしたがあの頃とはもう違う旧友とまた次はどこに行くんだ?リーユへの名称を巡りたいなら、いい案がいくつかあるぞ。花と酒を手に景色を堪能しようとしたが、あの頃とはもう違う。旧友とまた。旅はいつか終わりを迎える慌てる必要はない花と酒を手に景色を堪能しようとしたがあの頃とはもう違う旧友とまた
流通のために作られた船は港に止まるだからリーウェはあらゆる富が沈着する場所だ花と酒を手に景色を堪能しようとしたがあの頃とはもう違う旧友とまた。花と酒を手に景色を堪能しようとしたがあの頃とはもう違う旧友とまた。花と酒を手に景色を堪能しようとしたがあの頃とはもう違う旧友とまた。旅はいつか終わりを迎える慌てる必要はない That's what she said. Is this one of the requests? Oh, it is. No, it's not companionship XP.
反抗不落気の用心Just do regular order, Sion. I, I bet you weren't paying attention to our conversation at all, were you? Also didn't hear me at all. <laughs> Feel like Cyan has audio on like uh two percent of the time. You heard me now? <laughs> I know, I know. It's just that I was talking to you. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't worry about any any of that stuff. Just watch the show, then watch the movie. <laughs> Oh, nice. Which is your favorite so far? Come on, you can go. 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 Come on,
Yeah, between between the third and the second, between the second and the third, I one of them is my favorite, and the other one is something I really dislike. I'm not sure which is which. Yeah, I, I... It's been a long time. That it means nothing to me. No, I don't remember. That's why... That's why I'm saying... I don't remember which is which. I thought one of them was super fun and the other was weird mechanically. And didn't enjoy it. どこに行くんだ。リーユへの名称を巡りたいなら、いい案がいくつかあるぞ。
I'm done with this boss. I hate how far this teleporter is from the boss. It's only good for picking up these flowers. Oh shit. We got some max friendships. Two. Should have this because it's a for, it's a camera. But no. I'm not sure how I feel about him, but I kind of felt the same way about the other campaigns. Playing Knight really needed upgrades to be fun. 
Then maybe it's Plague Knight that I didn't like. Yeah, it's it's been a while. I don't remember. I believe you. The only way to know is to go watch my old streams. <laughs> yeah, it's been way too long. I know, I know Throw had to beat the final boss of, uh... Of Shovel Knight. He says that it was co op. He says that we did it co op. I, I think, I think, uh, if we did it co op, he must have been alone for most of the time. Like, I was dead. Yeah, I, I don't know if it was the boss specifically, or if it was like the uh, the final run. I, I also don't remember. It's been a long time. And it's not exactly a game that was memorable to me, because... I'm not that much into platformers. Maybe. <laughs> I wish I remember it. Some insane knockback when you get a hit? Maybe. I think it was the... I think that my problem was the traversal, but... It's been a while. Like I said. This room might be a little too warm.
This is the thing that wasn't closed, right? You call. Maybe I'll do that. The track of Shovel Knight is amazing, some of the best 8-bit music I've heard. Yeah, I do remember liking that. But also, The Messenger had a really, really awesome soundtrack. Did you play the messenger sign? <laughs> what the fuck, Cannon? Hey, the first step is admitting you have a problem. And it might be having an existential crisis. Banjo. Go on. 
Oh, they respawn. This looks kind of familiar. I haven't been here though. It's timed. Is this one also timed? Oh boy. And fast. Super fast. Let's throw. 
Nothing much, how are you? Merry Christmas. Mary, Mary. <laughs> Do you do anything? Novel, I played a game. Did someone buy that game for you, though? <laughs> yes, myself. Well, not what I have in mind. Isa. Well, just, uh, you know, exploring. Doing my, my just shedding. <laughs> just shedding while doing some Genshin. Are you playing a Mass Effect or something else? Effects always look weird in this in Honkai. Well, it's it's kind of a mirror you can go through, so I guess it's more excusable here. Kind of a portal, right? You almost done? Oh. Oh, the zilly girl. Still have an insanity run, but finished it tonight. You still have the same opinion on the ending? I think it sucks. Yeah, it's... It's at the least rushed. But I, I don't think anyone can like the... the child character after such a... after such a long journey. Just get introduced to something that 
has nothing to do with anything you've done. I do really like the game. The ending is just the only real fuck up. Yeah, yeah, I... I mean... I was saying the other day how much I love the the quarry and home world. I think that's fantastic. I have it. Not even sure it's worth that. I, I I refuse to believe that. It can't be so bad that it's not worth five bucks. Just can't. I refuse to believe it. I I would say that there's barely any game uh, of notoriety of any notoriety for us uh, that isn't worth at least five bucks. I have no idea Cyan had strong, such strong feelings about this game. It feels like that time uh, everyone in the world hated Prince of Persia. <coughs> what the fuck? Why am I back here? multiple levels to this. Got it. No, but it's like, uh... Let's be honest. Even the worst game out there... What is five bucks? How much do you pay to go watch a movie? It might not be worth your time to play it through, but is it really not worth five bucks? What's what's uh, You're worth five bucks, thank you, bro. <laughs> Thanks for the minutes. For making me feel appreciated.
I'm very confused. You go. I think this is fully done. Ah, fuck you. There's nothing here either. That's it? That's what you wanted to tell me? There's nothing here? Then why did I do this? I refuse that ending. I think these mechanisms are, are have to be part of something larger in the world. Oh my god, what the fuck? Trophy. I honestly don't even know what I'm missing at this point. Consider this load? Yes. Some shit forger. Did I already do that? Oh well. Kurusato. Oh, 
風の流れる方へ David is priceless. Only because human trafficking is illegal. But sure. <laughs> I'd still traffic you. Yeah, but it would hard to put a price on. Oh well. I think uh, I think I'm done for today. We covered quite a bit of ground and uh, got the spi spiral of this done. Exactly, and we'll do some story next time, like next week or something. Uh, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas. Thanks for hanging out, especially today. Um, it's, uh, it's nice that we can be in uh, in family. What we playing next stream? What do you think? The yak. We didn't finish it. I keep thinking you finished it for some reason. <laughs> no. I appreciate your faith. It's like the third time I thought you finished the story. Yeah, I, I'm noticing. Uh, no, we were continuing Yakuza Kiwami, and, uh... And then I think we're playing uh, the Caligula effect. Unless I don't like it enough to to play the entire game. If I don't like it enough to play the entire game, I'm just doing one stream. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, I am done for today. Uh, I, I feel sick, and it's time. See you tomorrow. Pencil Spider for 2025. No, no. After it. I'm only playing Caligula because I got the code for it. I, was, I don't want Nipponichi to hate me. <laughs> Uh, yeah. 
Goodbye. Good night. Enjoy your Christmas. Don't eat too much. <laughs> or do. Ha, ha, ha.